I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Hi students, how are you today? I hope you are doing an amazing work at school and I hope you are learning so much, okay? Today we're going to be learning why do we need to know about fractions? Today lesson is about representing fractions, okay? Our teaks are 4.3a. Let's get started. All right, so remember if you see this little person, Pause the video and write down what's on the screen, okay? Put it in your notebooks. Today's objectives are, students will learn how to write a fraction as a sum of unit fractions with the same denominator. Students will understand how to identify an improper fraction and show a concrete model of an improper fraction. Students will be able to share in a group discussion how to represent a fraction, A slash B, as a sum of fractions, 1 over B, where A and B are whole numbers and B is greater than 0, including when A is greater than B. Alright, so let's get started. Essential questions. What is an improper fraction? Okay, so if you can answer this at the end of the lesson, you've learned it, okay? Important vocabulary. Before we get down to our real lesson, we need to learn about some of these important vocabulary words, okay? Denominator, equal parts, fraction, numerator, unit fractions, whole, okay? A fraction. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole, okay? For an example, here in this picture, we have one whole, which is the whole thing, and then we have half on the next one, and the one next to that is a one-fourth, the one after that is three-fourths, okay? So they're part of a whole. It's all the same slice, it's all the same whole, but this time it's part of something, okay? It's part of the whole. Numerator. What's a numerator? The numerator above the fraction bar that tells the number of equal parts out of the whole, okay? So we have 18 and then we have 10. Which one is our numerator? The one on the top or the one on the bottom? The one on the top. Good. Okay. So that's our numerator. That tells us how many parts there are out of the whole. Okay. Denominator. What's a denominator? The number above the fraction bar that represents the whole. So again, we have a number on top. We have a number on the bottom. Which one is a denominator? The one on the bottom, that tells us how many pieces there are in total, okay? So total on the bottom, how many equal parts there are on top? Equal parts. Parts of an object that have been divided into equal pieces. For an example, in the circle, we have two equal parts. The square, we have four equal parts. Triangle, we have how many? Two equal parts, good. And the rectangle, we have four equal parts. And the last circle we have three equal parts. Good. Unit fractions. A fraction with a numerator of the one that represents one part of the whole. So, for an example, if I have four equal parts, a unit fraction of this four would be just one fourth. Look over here, we have one fourth. That's a unit fraction. If I have a circle and it's divided into two equal parts, a unit fraction of that will be one half. One would be my numerator, and on the bottom would be two. So one, two, one, two. Another one is if I have 23 equal parts, a unit fraction of that would be one out of 23. So one, 23. So basically, my numerator has to be a one on the top. 
which is my numerator, okay? Because it's just talking about one part of that whole. All right, so let's get down to this fraction song, okay? There were five pieces in one whole pie. The denominator of the whole pie was five. The numerator of my part was three, as three-fifths of the pie was for me. My mom made the apple pie out of Granny Smith's. She asked me if I liked it. I said, I plead the fifth. The numerator's the pie. were on a telephone pole. The denominator three was the group as a whole. The numerator two out of the thirds described the two thirds that were blue birds. The numerator two described how many were blue. Then something fell on my head. It was bird poo. Bird poo. The numerator stopped by. Took four shots on the goal. Three went in, but one hit the pole. The denominator was all four shots. The numerator was the three goals I got. The other team's record had taken a toll. I got three fought summer shots and won Olympic gold. Zero and one, right in the middle is one half and four. This half of that, a fraction's part you realize have to be the same size. Hey, we're late for the game. Hate to leave you guys. Visit numberock.com for exclusive content. Alrighty, so we just learned about numerators and denominators, okay, and a fraction, okay? So, what I'm going to do now is show you what an improper and proper fraction are, and then tomorrow we're going to dive in deeper, okay? Okay, so we just learned about fractions, okay? So, here is a fraction. Now, what is a 3 called again when the, when the number on top? What is that called? Good, a numerator. And what is the number on the bottom called? Good, my denominator, okay? So remember, denominator stands for total, okay? And my numerator is how many equal parts there are, okay? Now there are types of fractions, okay? For an example, this one is called a proper fraction. Okay. Proper fraction means that it's proper. Okay, so what does that mean? That means it's correct, it's nice, it's good, it's clean. Okay, we can make sense of it. All right? You have another fraction that's called improper fraction. Okay. And what does that look like? That looks like this. Oh no, there's 11 pieces out of four in total. How is that even possible? We only have four pieces in total, but there's 11 equal parts in my numerator, okay? So whenever you see my numerator is bigger than my denominator, that's an improper fraction, okay? We also have another fraction that's called this.
a mixed number fraction. Okay, three and two fourths. What does that even look like? Don't worry, tomorrow I'm gonna show you what do they look like, okay? For now, all I want you to do is go ahead and copy down your notes, okay? And then I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go ahead and look at the notes. All right, here are your notes. Make sure you copy it on everything so that way they're in your notes already for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna learn more about fractions and I have a sweet treat for you, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.